it's Christmas. Well, it's actually just the beginning of December, but close enough. Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make five different Christmas baubles. Well, I say five different Christmas baubles, probably four and a quarter because one of them was just awful. But I'll show you that one anyway. We've got four and a fail. And if you were around last year on my channel in December, you'll know that I did Craftmas, which was a 25 day long series where I did 25 different Christmas related craft projects consecutively for 25 days. Don't know what I was thinking, but I know some people want me to do that again this year. But quite frankly, they're the worst performing videos on my channel. So if you do want to watch that series, I'll leave a link down below and you can have a little binge watch if you want. I always promote binge watching on my channel. Go for it! But because I'm not doing Craftmas this year, I thought I still would do something special and throughout the entire of December, I'm doing double uploads. Yes, I'll be uploading a video every Friday, my usual day, and then I'll be uploading a second video either Tuesday or Wednesday, I haven't decided yet. And they won't necessarily be all Christmas related, but I'm going to try and incorporate Christmas into them the best I can. Anyway, I'll go grab my materials and we can get on with the bauble making. Right, so for the first bauble, I'm going to show you how to make an acrylic pour bauble. And all you need for this is a glass hollow bauble, and you need one of the ones where you can take the lid off so you'll have obviously something that looks like this and I'm just going to mix up some normal acrylic paint in whichever colours you want with some PVA glue and for this one I'm going to do four colours I think I'll do a purple, an orange, a yellow and a gold right, and just give these a stir Oh, you bitch. Right, now that we've got our four colours mixed up, we're just going to pour them in small layers into the bauble. And you just want to do it bit by bit, you don't want to go kind of crazy with it. Ah, I've had a flood. I've had a flood. It's okay, it's easily wiped off. Right, now once you've got a shallow bit of paint in the bottom of all your layers of colour, all you want to do is kind of swirl it around just gradually and keep going and going like so. You'll also want an empty cup or a container to balance the bauble on as well because you're going to let all the paint drip out. And the goal is to just make sure all the sides are covered. And then once you've got it so far you'll have a gap but don't worry because the paint will come all the way down the bauble and cover the entire thing and you just want to place it over a cup and let all the paint drain out. Now looking at the bauble right now, it would be amazing to get those results. Unfortunately, you're not going to get them results from this. However, if you used a pouring medium, a lot more of the paint would actually stick to the bauble and you'd get more of this as a finished effect. But unfortunately, I'm doing double uploads this month and pouring medium wasn't in my budget. But what we're going to do is just sit that aside, let all the paint pour out. But fortunately, I don't have to wait for that one because I did four beforehand. So I'll show you how they turned out and you might be a little bit underwhelmed. <laughs> but I do think they're quite cool. They're just subtle. That's the key word, subtle. Right, so I've got this one here and it's a more of a greeny colour and flakes of the paint have stuck to the outside and yeah, you've got like a big drip down the... <laughs> down one side. But I think they're quite arty, they're quite artistic, they're quite painterly, and again, they're subtle, okay? Right, and we've got our orange one, and again, it's very transparent, it's very subtle, and they don't show up particularly well on camera, but in person, they actually do look quite nice. We have the blue one, which is slightly more opaque. I think I was a bit generous with the paint on this one. And again, really nice. It's got some really nice textures and details closer up, but I don't know whether you can see that on camera. And then we have the green one, which has just got like a slight tinge of green, and it's very, very transparent, but I think they look really nice. I don't hate them. I really don't hate them. <laughs> right, let's move on to the next one. Right, now if you were disappointed by the last set of baubles, or slightly underwhelmed, you won't be for this one, because we're incorporating tequila. My favourite drink. Right, so I bought this little kit on Amazon. I think it's about a tenner or something. And they're basically fillable baubles. So let's open it up and see what it's like. Right, it says, eat, drink and be merry baubles are the perfect Christmas gift. Gift ideas, gin, vodka, port, whiskey, rum, mulled wine, sherry, jelly beans, sweets, nuts, or simply decorate and personalise. They missed out tequila. 
What? <laughs> right, so you get six little baubles in here, and we also have some stickers to decorate them. Right, so I'll decorate this first one. How do you spell tequila? Right, so we've got our decorated bauble there. Now just fill it up. This is a very large shot. And there we have it, our tequila bauble. And then you just open it up. And we've got to sample it to make sure it's okay. <sighs> Oof. Oh, that's good. And it warms you up. It's definitely not 10 in the morning on a Saturday. It's five o'clock somewhere. I'm alive now. I'm alive, I'm awake. And of course, if you're not into tequila or alcohol or anything like that, then you can do sweets and nuts or anything else really, and it works just fine. Mmm, delicious. But I think I'll stick with my tequila. But yeah, super, super simple one. Could have a lot of fun with your kids, maybe it's just... Obviously, don't include the booze if you're doing it with children. Right, the next one is my half a bauble, which means it's the failed one. And this is it here. Can anyone tell me what it's supposed to be? Christmas pudding. Yes, well done you. It's supposed to be a Christmas pudding. I thought I would give textiles a go and try to create a Christmas pudding bauble because I saw an image online, which I'll pop on the screen now for you. And that is what I was trying to recreate. But unfortunately, it just... It just didn't go well. It really didn't go well at all. I really tried to, but <sighs> never mind. And I did have enough felt to try and make another one, but I gave up. I completely gave up because I knew for a fact I, I was never going to get there, ever, at all. That one just, it just didn't happen didn't happen. Well, it did happen. The results are just shite. Moving on to the next one. Right, okay, so for the next lot of baubles, I thought I would do a watercolour ceramic bauble. And I haven't tried this one yet, so this could quite possibly be another fail. Right, so all you need is a ceramic bauble, which are very expensive, by the way. I was kind of shocked. I nearly had a little heart attack when I bought them. And my plan is to mix a little bit of acrylic paint with some water and then just go around them to create a washy acrylic bauble. <laughs> Duh. So we'll see how it turns out. Now, I don't want to use too much paint because I do want it to be quite washy. I also want to be careful with them because if you mix paints too much, it just all goes muddy and brown. And the good thing about ceramic baubles as well is the paint, as soon as it hits it, it dries really quick because it's so absorbent. Yeah, I'm actually really happy with that one. It turned out exactly how I had planned. And it's very washy, very arty. I've got another bauble here, so I'm thinking maybe I'll try to do a rainbow stripe on this one. You do have to be careful though, because it drips everywhere. So I just don't want to ruin it. I think this is going to be a little bit more difficult. But that one was very beginner friendly and very easy. So you don't have to be very talented to do something like this, which is perfect. I'm also not sure the order of a rainbow, but it's just going to be colorful stripes. It'll be nice. Yeah, I think the rainbow one worked really well. I think it's actually my favorite one. I think it's really effective and looks really cool and it was super, super easy to make as well. If I'm honest, I think both the watercolor ones are a success. Right, let's move on to our next one, which is probably the most complicated one out of the lot of them. And they're very difficult to do, so we'll see what happens. And this time I'm going to be showing you how to make these rustic wooden pyrography baubles. I think you pronounce it pyrography. It's a hard one to get your lips around, okay? If you're good at drawing, you'll probably be quite good at this. Okay, so what you need for this is some little wooden discs. And you can get bulk bags of these online and on Amazon and stuff. They're not hard to come by. And you also need one of these, which is a heated tool. And basically it just plugs into the mains and... All this part gets heated up and then that allows you to burn into the wood basically. And you can get these things on Amazon for about 10, 20 quid. They're not too bad. And they also come with loads of different kind of nozzles that you can interchange to get a different effect on when you're stamping and drawing and stuff. Right, so for this one, all I'm gonna do is use this Love Heart stamper and create a pattern on this disc. And if you're a beginner, you'll find the stamping technique very easy. You don't have to do a lot with it. You just hold it down and you have a love heart. And obviously the longer you hold it down, the darker the burn's gonna be. It smells really nice as well. I love the smell of burning wood. And there we go, a little simple patterned bauble. But I also wanted to try to experiment with one. And what I've done with this one is I've painted several layers of acrylic paint in all different colors. And I'm hoping when I stamp in, it's gonna bring up some of the hidden colors underneath and hopefully we'll get some good effects. But this might not work, so you know, 
Don't get too excited. Ah, oh, the yellow's come through on that one. I'll try holding it down a bit longer, see what we can get. Yeah, it's still the yellow. I'll hold this one down for a really long time, see if we can get into the other layers. It could also just be burning the white paint and turn it yellow, and this will have just been a complete waste of time. There, you can see some of the other colours coming through now. So it is working, it's just quite difficult. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure whether I'm going to really get down the other layers of paint, because you've got like red and pink and all sorts under there, but I don't think they're going to show up, which is a shame. Right, I think that's as good as I'm going to get. Unfortunately, none of the other colours came through, but I do like the fact that the blue and the yellows come through on it. Not what I was aiming for, but it'll do. And I'll show you some other examples that I've done, where I try to get a little bit more complicated. So he's just another stamped one with a snowflake pattern, and I think that looks quite cool. It's quite nice. This one I got a little bit more adventurous and I added some stars and some trees and then I tried to do some shading which it worked okay. It's not too bad. <laughs> An attempt at a candy cane. Yeah I think my, my skills let us down on this one. A Christmas tree which it's okay. It's alright for a beginner. And finally a Christmas present. <sighs> There's no words really. <laughs> so yeah, pyrography out of all five of them are probably the most trickiest. I do think it takes a lot of time, a lot of practice to master the art of burning into wood. <laughs> anyway, that does it for today's video. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know down below if you're going to be attempting any of these baubles at home. I would 100% recommend the tequila one. <laughs> and I think this will be a midweek video, so I should have another video going up on Friday and it'll be quite a delicious video. It'll be very, very tasty, hopefully. So make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the uploads this December. And I'll see you on Friday for a brand new video. Bye!